Hey guys, so this is going to be a review on this week's episode of Arrow. If you have not seen it, I suggest leaving now because I'm going to be talking about spoilers and the spoilers are going to start now. So this week was the season finale and so much happened. Oh my god. We had the return of uh, Lila and Nessa or Nisa. Nessa? I'm going to call her Nessa. I think it's, is it Nisa? It, it, we're going with Nessa here which Sarah brought back with her in the other League of Assassin members to help battle Slade. So they were there and Sarah ended up going back with them uh, at the end of the episode, which is sad and I guess Laurel is, I mean Laurel got the jacket so I mean she is getting closer and closer to becoming the Canary. So that's happening. Lance may be dead, possibly. Uh, he kind of, we, it, it's like that gray area. We don't know what's until next season, because he got some, or he was coughing up some blood, so he, he may or may not be dead. That's usually the general theme with season finales, though. It's like, they may or may not be dead. Uh, speaking of death, uh, Merlin is not dead. Uh, he was wearing Kevlar. Uh, however, Thea is now with Merlin because Roy lied to her again and Roy is also cured and out of his coma type thing and he's now Red Arrow or maybe Speedy I'm not sure tell me what you think do you think he's gonna go by Speedy or Red Arrow because obviously they threw the Speedy nickname in here with Thea and he's been called Speedy once before by Oliver, so... Do you think that he's gonna go by Speedy? Or Red Arrow? Or... I mean, we can throw Arsenal in there too, but I mean... I'm pretty positive it's between Red Arrow, because they even showed the Red Arrow tonight. Or the, uh, the Red Bow. And so it's between Speedy and Red Arrow, most likely. They defeated Slade and all of his people. And they did it in, like, a good way where they just cured them. No one ended up dying, I don't think. No, no one died. No, yeah. Did anyone die? I don't think anyone died. No, Slade's locked up on, I think, I, I think he's on the MU in an Argus, um, cell in the underground. Uh, speaking of Argus, Amanda Waller returned this week, and obviously, she was on last week too, because she's about to destroy the entire city of Starling. That didn't happen, because Dig and Lila stopped it, and they got the Suicide Squad. We got Deadshot. I don't think we got... We only got Deadshot this week. And there was this other guy, but I don't know who he was. I don't think he's been introduced. We got Deadshot. We didn't get Bronze Tiger or, you know, the one I wanted. I was really hoping when they showed the Suicide Squad and they were, like, getting them. I was just really, really hoping for Harley Quinn. We didn't even get a Harley Quinn, Quinn tease this week, which was, like, sucky because I, I was really 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 wanting Harley Quinn but hopefully we'll get her maybe next season did anyone else like just at first just question again just questioning the show with the whole Felicity and Oliver thing when they first the first day before they revealed that it was just a plan which I was just I literally because I had to watch it um later than it aired because I wasn't home when it first aired so I literally just had to pause the video and just question life for about five minutes because there, there's no way. I mean obviously Felicity likes Oliver and I mean I could see them together but no, no. What else was there? Uh, I don't think there was much else except for the ending. Is there anything else? Tell me if I'm missing something because I probably missed something. I'm just forgetting but uh the ending was just again questioning what the hell so like Oliver made a remark about flying the plane and Felicity's like if you were stuck on this island for five years where'd you learn how to fly a plane cute a flashback of five years ago he ain't on the island he was on the island for the first year he's now in Hong Kong with fucking Amanda Waller <laughs> what like and of course that was like the last second, so we now have to wait until next season to know just what in the fuck is going on. So, he's with Amanda Waller in Hong Kong, and that's happening. And that was it for tonight. <sighs> so much. This season was so, 
so good. I, I love the show. I can't wait for the new season. I, I don't know when it's going to be. Tell me when season three? I, yeah, three comes out because I love the show. If you know when season three comes out, be sure to tell me. We also got the um, trailer for The Flash tonight. And, I mean, we didn't really get much. We got a look at Flash's costume, but really... We, and, you know, the fact that, you know, Barry's alive and out of his coma, but we really didn't get much. All we got was, uh, Oliver shooting arrows and him catching it, but I'm excited to see The Flash, so I can't wait for The Flash to start. I don't know when that's starting. I don't even, I don't even know if it's been picked up. Has it been picked up? I think, I wouldn't say it's been picked up, but I could be wrong. Either way, even if it doesn't get picked up, I'm sure we'll see Flash and everyone from his universe be an Arrow, obviously. Uh, they already have been in several episodes, so I definitely see them just crossing over more and more, which is really cool. So the season finale was amazing. So much happened. Tell me what your favorite part was and what do you think is going to happen in season three and Andrew's thoughts on the flash what do you think is gonna happen over there do you know if it's even been picked up yet or and what do you think of this costume tell me what you think of this costume because like it's it's good but like I'm not in love with it you know I'm sure it's gonna grow on me but I'm not in love with it yet so tell me what you think and thanks for watching